Today is the National Day of Prayer, which first came to be in 1952 with a joint resolution by Congress and a signature by President Harry S. Truman. It was codified in 1988 by President Ronald Reagan, permanently setting aside the first Thursday of May as the National Day of Prayer. But there were broad calls for prayer across this country even before it was a country. The Second Continental Congress asked the colonies to pray for wisdom in forming a nation back in 1775. A year later, Congress set aside May 17th, 1776 as a day of humiliation, fasting and prayer throughout the colonies. That was reiterated by President Lincoln in 1863. And according to the National Day of Prayer website, this day enables us to recall and to teach the way in which our founding fathers sought the wisdom of God when faced with critical decisions. But what if you don't believe in God? Well, then I guess this day isn't really for you. But what if you're religious, but your religion doesn't exactly involve a God, which is what we found today at the Idaho State House. In the Lord, dear friends. While the sound of supplication seemed in the Lord always. sparse on the steps of the state capitol the fruit of the Spirit. on this national day of prayer. How's everyone doing today? It was certainly sufficient on the inside. Ready to hell some Satan? Where the second floor rotunda we thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. was a hell Lily! Hail Satan! Round Robin of religion. And I give you glory, Father God. I normally host a Bible study at my home on 10, and we decided that it would be a good idea since the National Day of Prayer to just come down and pray around the Capitol in the rotunda. We had no idea what we were walking into. Take care, never. What they walked into facts to fit one's own beliefs. was the Satanic Temple, Idaho. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. We are a non theistic, non supernatural religion. That which will not bend must break. Participating in prayer in, the name of Lucifer. in their own we way. Anoint you in the ashes of the false Messiah's word. What'd you think? It was disturbing to me because it was in a public building, but then at the same time, the Christians were here too. The Lord is with thee. A face off of freedoms. This is approved by Woke Jesus. I'm here to protect our, our capital from? from evil. There's a lot of demons around. Let us stand now. Of almost biblical proportions. You got some nice background music going? Almost. We don't believe in a literal Satan. It's just the metaphor of Satan. It's like, it's sort of like a comic book character that we really like. You know what I mean? Like, think of Paradise Lost, where Satan is the hero against a tyrannical god. Just as they have their interpretation of the Bible in many different ways, we have our different interpretation of a major character. Like, when people hear Satanists, they think sacrifices, they think blood and gore, they think okay. real evil stuff. Yeah. So. While we definitely embrace darker imagery, and I mean, certainly some of us are fans of horror and gore, some of us aren't. Like, I'm wearing, you know, lavender. I, I like to, like, jazz it up a little bit, be colorful. We definitely are not about sacrificing. In fact, most of our, a lot of our membership is vegan because that's how much they believe in not harming living creatures. It's a religion, right? It's a religion. We're, I mean, these are our deeply held religious beliefs compassion, wisdom, and justice. That's why we're here, to stand up for what we believe. Satanists, we don't pray to a higher power. However, our interpretation of prayer is that we're kind of symbolically and verbally expressing our hopes and desires to the people of Idaho. That freedom of religion applies in Idaho. They do have their right to be here, so I do respect that, but I, I'm not gonna allow demons to be around. People genuinely believe that we kill babies, that we sacrifice humans, that we do horrible things. And in fact, like, these people are some of the most compassionate and empathetic people I've ever met in my life. They're my family. What does the National Day of Prayer mean to you? That we just stop as a nation and pray for what's going on in the nation, pray for our leaders, pray for our um, the decisions that are being made, not to protest, not to, but to just say, God, what's going on and how do we cooperate with you in it? But no matter the de denomination, right? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. But we don't have to agree. No. Nope. And that's the beauty of this place and of this nation. The Satanic Temple, Idaho, consists of about 30 members, and they reserved the second floor rotunda till 2 today to make sure they weren't 
run off. They even hired their own security just to make sure they weren't harassed. And to be fair, what was happening on the State House steps while we were there earlier today, that wasn't the main National Day of Prayer event. It was a marathon reading of the Bible that was going on. The main event begins, well, in about 45 minutes at 6 o'clock tonight, we're told, with a group prayer and presentation on the Capitol steps put on by Capitol Christian Church.